we'll start with prepositions and everyday objects. Everyday objects is very easy. Uh, you can you can look at the objects in your uh, English plus one page six. Okay, but for today you just uh, watch the screen lah because I have put everything uh, inside the screen. Okay. So for today's lesson, the first one, you're going to just read the everyday objects because it's very easy. Next, we will have prepositions. Okay, prepositions yang macam, uh, yang macam dalam video tu. Next, we will discuss the preposition questions. And last one, um, I'll tell you about your homework. Okay. First one, the vocabulary. This is very easy. Poster. Okay, the pronunciation is Poster. So, what is poster? Poster is actually uh, a big size uh, paper with uh, pictures and information. Maksudnya, poster ni usually it has pictures. Mesti ada picture. Kalau tidak, tak menarik. It's not interesting. And then it has information lah. Like this one. Uh, this is a poster of Children's Day. So, there are uh, photos of children and then wording here. Okay, uh, we, are, we are going to go very fast for this. Kita akan pergi cepat je untuk vocabulary ni because this is very easy. You have learned this before. So, kita just pergi cepat sebab kita akan lama sikit. Uh, we will take longer. Lama sikit for prepositions nanti. Okay, jangan salah sebut tau. The the way to pronounce it is pronunciation, eh, sorry, uh, preposition, not preposition. Ada orang sebut preposition. Okay, cara sebut dia preposition. Okay. Okay, next we have speaker. Speaker is pembesar suara. Okay, you, we have speaker on the laptop. We have speaker uh, that people attach to laptop. Orang pasang nak, nak bagi suara kuat, music kuat. Okay. Okay, if one speaker, uh, if uh, one, we say speaker. If uh, we have two or more speakers. Okay. Uh, take note of this. Awak kena tengok betul-betul yang perkataan ni nanti. Sebab Later in the question, dalam soalan yang kita nak discuss tu, dia akan ada, awak akan dapat beza. So, kalau benda tu dua, uh, jawapan dia akan jadi lain nanti. Alright. Next, laptop. Laptop is computer riba. Okay, like I'm using right, uh, right now. Laptop. Next, table. Okay. After this, you're going to see a desk. This one is a table. So, I want you to know the difference. Okay. Table is usually... Uh, usually table, we don't have anything. Kita tak ada apa-apa dekat bawah dia. So for table, you can do everything. For example, uh, your dining table, meja makan. Sometimes um, you not only you do not only eat there, you also put things there, you also um, do your homework there. That's why we call it table. Uh, and then table, we don't have, usually we don't have... Uh, Cabinet. Okay. Like in the staff room. Macam kalau dalam bilik guru kan. Awak tengok. Um, uh, teacher ada uh, cabinet kat bawah. So kalau ada cabinet yang tempat kita kalau nak letak kabinet. semua semua benda tu. Uh, then that's we call desk. For table we don't have that. So it's usually like dining table. Kalau awak nak bezakan nak senang tu. Uh, tahu macam bawah dia tak ada apa-apa. Uh, that one is table. Kat rumah kita biasanya table lah kat rumah. Desk tu kalau macam meja belajar, kalau meja, kalau ada drawer macam tu kat bawah. Kalau tak ada, it's table. Uh, next, drawer, laci. This one is what we call drawer. Okay. Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Okay, the pronunciation is mobile phone. Telephone bimbit. Okay. Most of you have this uh, nowadays. Okay, mobile phone. Um, the, the one at home. The one that you have at home is what we call landline. Okay. Benda yang tak boleh nak bawa ke mana-mana. Mobile phone ni dia boleh bergerak. Kita boleh bawa pergi mana-mana. Alright. Next we have clock. Clock. Okay. Clock is jam dinding. Kalau jam tangan it's watch. Okay. It's different. Okay. Kalau jam loceng. Alarm clock. So you have to know how to differentiate. Clock is jam dinding. You put it on the wall. Watch is the one that you wear around your 
wrist dekat pergelangan tangan is watch alarm clock is usually uh, on the bedside table biasanya kita letak dekat tepi katil okay that one is alarm clock but nowadays people use um, handphone as their alarm clock like me okay I use handphone mobile phone next we have board white board black board papan notice board okay papan next we have dictionary okay the way to pronounce it is dictionary i want you to have this dictionary when we are going back to school please have a dictionary with you okay uh, we have lots of dictionaries at school but it's quite hard okay susah sikit awak nak pinjam-pinjam nak, nak nak share lah so i want you to have your own dictionary sebab dictionary ni memang banyak pakai awak beli sekarang uh, the price is Eleven ringgit macam tu je murah je sebelas ringgit macam tu. You can use it uh, until you go to the university. Tak percaya tanya dekat awak punya Miss Kairuna. Dia pun pakai pakai dictionary juga. <laughs> okay. So I want you to buy dictionary uh, later uh, uh, when we are going back to school. Next. Okay. Shelf. Okay. Shelf is rack. Okay rack. You have uh, shelves for books. Um, we can also uh, call it rack. Rack pun ada juga biasanya untuk kasut, kita panggil shoe rack. Shelf ni biasanya untuk buku lah. Okay, usually we use this for books. Book shelf. So, rack buku. Next, okay very easy, pen. Teacher tak nak explain apa-apa, pen lah. Alright. Notebook, buku nota. Desk, okay this one uh, is what I told you just now. You can see here desk, it's like your desk uh, in your class. Macam meja awak tu, kita panggil desk, kita tak panggil table because you have the drawer here. Okay, awak ada ruang, you have the space for you to put things. And usually the size is smaller because you use it for specific uh, purpose. Awak guna yang ni untuk uh, tujuan yang memang khas. So macam desk dekat uh, sekolah, desk at school in your classroom, you use it to study lah untuk untuk belajar dalam kelas lah kan. Awak tak pakai desk tu untuk buat benda lain. Alright. So uh, the uh, for you to remember, just remember that you have something below. Ada dekat bawah tu, ada ada drawer ke, awak uh, ada cabinet ke. Uh, that one we call desk. Next, coat. Okay. Uh, these days, coat ni dia ada macam-macam tau. Uh, this days we can use interchangeably Maksudnya kita boleh tukar-tukar uh, panggil nama dia Kita boleh panggil coat Kita boleh panggil jacket What's the difference? Uh, normally biasanya coat is longer Coat ni biasanya panjang sikit lah uh, Macam some, uh, bawah daripada uh, awak punya uh, uh, bontot ha, Bawah sikit daripada bontot awak tu kita panggil coat lah biasanya Jacket ni biasanya pendek sikit kan Sampai pinggang macam tu Okay Next chair, okay chair, kursi, last one bag, okay. So uh, here's all about um, about everyday objects. Next we are going to look at prepositions. But before that, I want to replay. Okay, teacher nak mainkan lagi sekali uh, my video. So that you can sing together. Ah, awak kena try lah nyanyi. Uh, like what I said in the video, you have to practice and practice so that you will uh, get to know better. Alright, teacher buka. Uh, hopefully dengar lah. Wait eh, tak pasang lagi. Boleh nampak kan? Hello everyone, let's sing the preposition song together. One, two, go. Ah, go yang sikit, yang sikit, yang sikit. Sing on under near between, under near between next to opposite. Dalam atas bawah, dekat di antara sebelah bertentangan. In dalam on atas Anda bawahnya dekat Between di antara Next to sebelah Opposite pertentangan Next to sebelah 
Inilah opas pertentangan Yay Okay, technical issue sikit ni Okay Alright So uh, It's actually very easy Okay The the prepositions Because you've learned this Starting from year one Sikit-sikit-sikit awak belajar daripada year one sampai sekarang Very easy So uh, In dalam Just now uh, Like you can see just now Dalam teacher letak gambar toy from the box Inside the box kan dia dekat dalam box Next is on Atas In okay atas tu yang dekat crescent Dekat bulan sabit tadi Okay ada awak nampak ada animal dekat bulan sabit Dia mengail daripada atas kan That one is on In under uh, uh, Under Uh, bawah uh, pokok awak nampak uh, the boys the boy and the girl is reading the uh, the boy and the girl are reading under the tree uh, near tadi ada gambar yang rumah house and river so di dekat the house is near the river next we have between between awak nampak pirate tadi pirate in the middle in the uh, in, uh, between the treasures uh, dekat tengah-tengah dengan harta karun tadi next we have uh, next to Next to tadi, there are two men, two guys. Dia duduk sebelah. Okay, next to each other. And the last one, we have opposite. Two guys, they are pointing to each other. Opposite each other, okay? Alright. So, that one is easy. In, on, under. Uh, jangan sebut under ya. Under, near, between, next to. Okay, this one is between, not between. Between, okay, between, next to, opposite, not opposite, opposite. Sebab betul-betul ni, Tisha betul-betul ni, opposite. Okay, so let's look at the picture here, okay. number one. I give you 10 second. Okay, these are the dictionaries. This is the shelf. So, the dictionaries are the shelf. Apa benda? In, on, under, near, uh, between, next to, opposite. Okay, the answer is on, on. The dictionaries, uh, kamus ada di atas rak lah ni, atas rak. Number two, the teacher's mobile, okay here, awak nampak kat sini, is the drawer. The drawer means laci. So, cikgu punya telefon ada dekat mana dekat laci? Well done. Okay, you got uh, all correct. All of you got it correctly. In number three, the laptop here, the laptop is the speakers. Ha, ni tadi teacher bagi tahu kat awak. Dia ada sebut speakers, maksudnya dua speaker. So, laptop ni dekat mana dekat speaker? The answer is, well done Adriana Nadira. Adriana Nadira betul. Jawapan dia between, di antara. Sebab we use the word speakers. Okay, bila awak ada dua benda dia cakap laptop ni dekat dekat mana dekat dua speaker. Satu on the left, one is on the right side, kiri dengan kanan. Laptop dekat tengah-tengah ni. Kalau awak sebut next to, uh, kalau speaker dia satu je. If we have only one speaker, speaker dekat sini je, uh, laptop dekat sini, sini tak ada speaker, then the answer is next to. Tapi sekarang ni speakers, we have two speakers. Uh, laptop dekat tengah-tengah. So the answer is between. Okay, number four. The students' chairs are their desks. Students' chairs are their desks. Ni chair, ni desk. Okay. Dekat mana chair ni? Good job. The answer is under. Okay. Bawah under chair. Okay, good. Under. The students' chairs are under their desk. Number five. The poster. Okay, you can see the poster here, London. The poster is the teacher's table. Ni teacher's table. Ni, uh, ni poster. Okay, what's the answer? The poster is what? The teacher's table. Next to. The answer is next to. The poster is next to the teacher's table. Sebelah. Okay. Number six. Harry's coat. Okay, here. Number 14. Eh? Harry's coat is his chair. Ha, Harry's coat. Chair tu ada dekat. Ha. So, what what's the answer? Har on, teacher. On. On. Yes. Okay. Marvelous. On. Harry's coat is On his chair. On the chair. Okay, thank you. On. Number eight. Number, sorry, number seven. Harry's bag is. Okay, this one is the bag. His desk. Oh, ni senang sangat. 
Haris bagi sis dah. Sebenarnya apa ni? In, on, under. Near, between, next to, opposite. Under. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Under. Uh, thank you very much. The answer is under. Under. Number eight. The clock is the box. This one is clock. This one is box. Okay, what's the answer? The answer is near. Okay, kenapa bukan on? Tengok sini betul-betul eh. Teacher tunjuk. Kalau on, okay, if the answer is on, clock ni akan jadi dekat atas sini. Betul-betul kita letak dekat board. Between, ni, between. No, no. The answer is near. Near, dekat. Okay, dengar, dengar dulu. Listen to me. Okay, kalau awak jawab on tadi, clock ni takkan ada dekat sini tau. Clock ni akan ada dekat sini. Sebab dia atas board. Awak tahu dekat sini soalan dia. The clock is the board. So kalau on dia dekat sini, kita bertampal dia dekat depan tu. So kalau near, near so, dia tak ada. Near dekat maksud dia. Dekat ni dia tak ada duduk betul-betul dekat atas ni ke apa tak. Tapi dia dekat. Contoh macam rumah awak dekat dengan sekolah. Awak jalan kaki je kan. We say uh, my school is, uh, my uh, house house is near the school. So dekat tu kita tak ada bagi tahu dia betul-betul bertetangan ke sebelah ke tak. Dekat means uh, kalau macam ni awak tengok. Kalau awak nak cakap on tak boleh sebab dia macam ke tepi sikit. Kalau awak nak cakap under memang tak boleh lah sebab bawah. In dalam tak boleh juga. Kalau awak nak kata between uh, tak boleh sebab between dia diapit. Ingat macam tu je. Between di antara. So dia diapit. So kalau ada benda dekat sini, ada benda dekat sini baru kita sebut between. Kalau nak sebut next to sebelah, awak kena letak clock ni dekat sebelah sini. Baru jadi next to. Kalau nak letak opposite, opposite clock ni kena de ada dekat sini. Ha, baru opposite board. So the answer is near. Dekat. Okay. Sebab dia macam tak ada uh, jarak yang uh, kita nak ukur yang susah-susah. Okay, number nine. The board is, okay, board, the board is the student's desk. Okay, awak tengok ni. Ni desk, ni board. So, what do we call it? Ha, macam ni. Ha, berdepan macam ni. So, what do we call berdepan macam ni? Uh, Opposite. Yes, thank you. Opposite. Sebab kalau in front, boleh depan. Tapi... Because today we are doing only seven. Kita buat tujuh je kan tak ada tak ada in front of. So that's, uh, that's why we, we take uh, opposite. Okay as the answer. Thank you Adriana. Nadira dah cakap in front. In front tu sebab kita tak belajar lagi hari ni. Kita tak buat hari ni. So kita guna uh, opposite. Okay next is Harry's pen. Harry's pen. Where's the pen? Here okay. Where's the pen? In. Uh, Kat sini, kat sini. Pen kat sini. Number 11. Tengok tu betul. Number 11 is the pen. His notebook. Ni pen ni notebook. So, what's the answer? Harry's pen is his notebook. Next to. Oh, yes, next to. Next to the pen. Alright, okay. Good, good, good. Alright. Harry's pen is next to his notebook. Last one. Next to. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I got it, got it. Alright. Last one. Number 11. Number 11. Paul's desk is Harry and Eva's desk. Okay, dengar betul-betul. Awak nampak kat sini ada dua benda. Harry and Eva's desk. Maksudnya, Harry punya desk, Eva punya desk. Paul terletak dekat mana Harry dengan Eva? Ada dua benda kat sini. Macam Dia sama macam speakers tadi. Ada dua benda. So, jawapan dia apa? Me. Yes. The answer is between. Thank you. Between. Between. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Between. Okay, very good. Now, the time has come for your homework. Okay, homework, please listen very carefully. Okay, siapa yang uh, buka mic tu tutup balik. Kisha nak teram betul-betul ni. Takut awak tak faham. Okay. Okay, your homework. First, draw a picture of the objects that you have learned today. Okay. Today, we have learned 16 objects. Kita dah belajar 16 barang hari ni Objek Tapi teacher tak nak awak uh, lukis semua Lukis sikit je uh, Macam ikut suka awak Okay up to you Contohnya for example you can um, Draw maybe 5, 6 macam tu Dalam satu gambar in your book In your HBL book tu Home based learning book tu I want you uh, to um, Draw a picture Satu gambar dalam frame lah Dalam 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 kotak Dalam tu ada Um, beberapa 
objek yang kita belajar hari ni Awak boleh pilih Tadi kita ada 16 objects kalau awak tak ingat Just refer to your English plus one On page six Okay page six dia ada bagi semua senarai nama Nama benda-benda tu So you can choose Boleh pilih berapa awak nak tak apa Next based on the picture Berdasarkan gambar yang awak lukis sendiri tu tadi Write five sentences using appropriate prepositions Awak kena tulis lima ayat yang sesuai Sama macam ni tadi So awak akan lukis benda macam ni contohnya Tapi ikut suka awak, awak tak payah tiru kat dalam buku Awak boleh letak contohnya atas meja ni Awak boleh letak uh, jacket, eh, apa, uh, coat contohnya coat Lepas tu dekat depan tu awak boleh letak uh, board contohnya Lukis beberapa gambar Lepas tu teacher nak awak explain, awak describe, ceritakan tentang gambar awak tu Buat ayat macam ni Write sentences like this, teacher nak lima ayat je So cara buat dia, listen carefully, nanti awak tak reti nak tulis Okay, mula-mula buat nama benda tu, objek Kalau benda tu satu, awak guna is Kalau benda tu more than one, guna are Lepas tu, guna preposition yang sesuai Kedudukan, yang menunjuk ke kedudukan yang sesuai tadi Lepas tu lagi satu, benda yang lain. Okay, contoh macam inilah. The dictionaries are on the shelf. So, awak buat yang ni benda, yang ni is ataupun a. Tengok seorang ataupun banyak. Yang ni dia punya preposition. In, on, under, near, between, next to, opposite. Ni benda dia. Ikut gambar yang awak lukis. Bukan ikut gambar dalam buku, no. Awak pilih, awak lukis sendiri ni. Suka hati awak lah nak buat macam mana. Yang ni macam gambar banyak kan. Contoh, uh, yang ni awak lukis lima benda je contohnya ha, Clock ni tiba-tiba awak nak letak dekat atas Board ni So nanti awak buat lah ayat The clock is on the board ha, Contohnya Ataupun awak tukar uh, Awak letak chair ni Letak dekat bawah ni So the chair is under the table Yang ni under the desk kan So awak boleh tukar anything Ikut suka awak Up to you Okay next Last one Snap your completed work and send to my Uh, WhatsApp, personal WhatsApp lah Macam biasa, takut gambar So teacher kena tunjuk contoh Tengok betul-betul Look here Ni contoh cara nak buat, okay Ni gambar yang teacher Teacher reka Awak boleh lukis anything Ni teacher ambil 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Okay, teacher lukis 8 benda So ikut awak nak berapa banyak As long as awak dapat 5 sentences Benda-benda yang awak lukis tu Awak akan buat jadi ayat Okay So ni gambar yang teacher buat So uh, the, the sentence in this picture dalam gambar ni Okay The clock is near the shelf Jam dinding dekat dengan rak Okay ni bukan atas eh bukan on Dekat sebab dia macam ni Tu ayat pertama Second sentence The shelf is between the speakers and the chair Shelf ni awak nampak tu cuba ayat Okay the shelf benda ni kita pilih dia satu je so letak is Lepas tu dia between Di antara the speakers and the chair Dia antara speaker ni dengan chair Dia duduk tengah-tengah so between Second uh, sentence Third sentence My laptop Okay saya punya laptop Okay awak letak benda dulu laptop ada satu So kita guna is Is on the table Atas meja Third sentence Fourth sentence The pen The pen Is next to Sebelah my laptop Last sentence My bag is under the table Okay contohlah kalau buat lebih kurang macam gambar teacher kan um, Banyak ayat boleh buat ni sebenarnya So macam contoh Contoh teacher tukar kedudukan Speaker ni teacher letak dekat bawah ni Bag letak kat situ So contoh teacher nak kata speaker ada di bawah meja The speakers Speaker sebab ada dua kan So the speakers are di bawah Under, bawah apa? Bawah meja, under the table So cara buat ayat dia senang je Very easy, five sentences Okay So awak boleh pilih daripada From your textbook, from your English plus one There are 16 objects, ada 16 Tak payah lukis semua Lepas tu awak tentukan kedudukan sendiri Okay, awak bayangkan macam ni je Just imagine you are uh, decorating your room uh, Awak nak macam nak, nak hias bilik awak kan okay. Macam mana awak nak lukis bilik awak dengan benda-benda dalam tu tapi teacher nak ayat lima tu guna lain-lain lah So you can, as you can see here Yang ni teacher guna near This one is between This one is on This one is next to The last one is under So awak dah belajar seven prepositions Tujuh awak belajar So takkanlah semua benda nak buat on 
the laptop is on the table, the the bag is on the table, the pen is on the table, tak nak lah. Okay, guna lain-lain. So you have five sentences, use different prepositions. Lima ayat, lima preposition yang berlainan. Okay. So, ikut suka awak for the, for the, wait, wait, wait. Alright. Okay, so for the teacher gambar tu boleh tak photo state? Gambar apa benda nak photo state? Teacher nanti boleh tak hantar balik homework dalam grup kelas? Uh, homework awak senang sangat. Um, sekarang ni homework bukan ada dekat dalam ni, tak ada kat sini pun. Homework awak, awak kena lukis sendiri. So tengok benda-benda kat dalam ni kan yang kita dah belajar 16 benda tadi tu. Awak lukis sendiri. Draw your own picture, awak tentukan sendiri. Okey, dalam gambar ni, dalam petak ni, dekat sini nak letak kerusi. Dekat, si, dekat atas kerusi nak letak ada bag. Dekat, dekat bertentangan dengan kerusi nak letak uh, board contohnya. Lepas tu, dekat tepi board tu sikit nak letak shelf. So up to you. Ikut suka awak. Sebab awak yang nak buat ayat. Okey, awak akan buat lima ayat tu berdasarkan gambar yang awak tulis sendiri. Okay. Uh, can you understand? Boleh faham tak? Boleh kan? Okay, cara nak buat ayat pula, the way to write the sentences is very easy. Yeah. Yes? Ada orang nak tanya soalan ke? Okay, tak ada. Okay, so cara nak buat ayat senang je. Uh, you can uh, look at your book. Awak boleh tengok contoh cara macam mana nak buat ayat kat sini. Dia ada bagi dah. Um, maksud teacher macam teacher bagi contoh tadi lah The dictionaries buat uh, Okay, objek tu dulu Awak tengok balik gambar awak nanti Objek tu dulu, kalau dia ada banyak Is ataupun a uh, um, Lepas tu uh, Preposition apa, in, on, under, near, between, next to, opposite Lepas tu benda yang lain Awak lukis gambar dulu, jangan buat ayat dulu Draw the picture first Lepas, Awak tentukan dalam kepala, okay Yang ni nak letak atas ni, yang ni nak letak bawah ni Yang ni nak letak depan yang ni, yang ni nak letak sebelah Awak tentukan sendiri dulu, lukis dulu gambar Then baru buat five sentences Okay You have one week uh, uh, Seminggu tak teacher bagi hantar kerja So please send your work Okay If you don't understand You can ask me later Okay you can whatsapp me personally Boleh tanya balik Contohnya kalau uh, tunjuk Awak nak tunjuk gambar dulu ke Maybe you want to show me your picture first Teacher okay tak buat gambar macam ni Kalau teacher kata macam okay ke So awak boleh proceed boleh Uh, continue with your sentences. Boleh buat macam tu. Okay. Kalau tak nak tunjuk dulu pun tak apalah. Boleh siapkan je kat rumah and then you can send me your completed work. Yang dah siap boleh hantar. Okay. Are you okay? Boleh kan? Boleh faham kan? Okay tak faham apa nanti later you can ask me. Okay. So I think that's it. That's all for tonight.